Season 10 is well underway, but we're just getting started. This update, we're adding a new vehicle to some of your favorite battlegrounds, giving you new ways to interact with the upcoming PGIS Esports Tournament, adding a new way to style on that dirt bike of yours, and more. Let's dive into Update 10.2. First up, the Coupe RB is a brand new two-seater vehicle speeding its way to Erangel, Miramar, and Sanaa. Capable of reaching speeds up to 150 km per hour, this new Coupe is the fastest Battlegrounds vehicle on four wheels. Don't expect to transport your entire squad in the RB, but if you're looking for a fast vehicle with a bit more protection than a bike, pick up the Coupe RB on your next drive. Speaking of vehicles, this update brings a few new ways for you to show off while on that dirt bike. With our new vehicle emotes, You've got awesome stunts ready at the push of a button. Simply click the left mouse button by default on PC while in the air on a dirt bike, and you'll randomly perform one of six preset stunts. To end your stunt, simply release the button. We're looking forward to watching how you utilize stunts into your games. The PUBG Global Invitational S is starting soon, and we've included some cool new ways for you to check out the action, even if you're in the action yourself. Throughout Erangel and Miramar, you'll now see video displays broadcasting the PGIS action while you play out your own battlegrounds. You can also watch from within the game lobby itself, so there are plenty of opportunities to follow along. PGIS will also feature its own Pick'em Challenge, so keep an eye on the eSports tab for how you can participate. On top of our main updates, we're bringing some changes to ranked mode penalties to be more lenient if your team fails to fully form or connect, adding in a reputation system to encourage players to avoid toxic behavior in-game, and also implementing a number of quality of life updates. As always, you can check out the patch notes for all the details on these changes and more. Update 10.2 is here, so drop in and burn rubber with the new Coop RB, or grab a dirt bike and left-click your way to virtual X Games startup. We'll see you on the battlegrounds. Let's
Hello, PUBG esports fans. The PUBG Global Invitational S starts on February 8th, and as is custom, we're launching a brand new Pick'em Challenge to go along with it. Each Pick'em Challenge is a little different, so make sure to watch all the way through to find out what's new and what's changed this time around. It all begins on January 20th and 21st when the esports tab officially reopens inside the PUBG PC and console clients. All throughout PGIS, you can use this tab to keep up to date on participating teams and players, along with real-time tournament info. This is also the first chance you'll get to purchase the first set of killer PGIS gear and begin supporting your favorite teams. Since this is quite a long tournament, a second set of gear will become available at the end of February. The first challenges begin on February 6th, and you'll have from Tuesday to Saturday each week before the weekly final begins to participate in the challenges and pick your winners. Rewards from the previous week will be distributed before the next challenge begins. Now let's talk about those challenges. We've got three different challenges this time around, molded to work within the PGIS tournament format, so pay attention even if you think you've played it all before. The first challenge is to guess the top four teams that will advance to the weekly final each week. If one of your selected teams makes it to the top four, you'll get a prize according to the rank they end up in. Simple as that. You can pick one team per voting coupon you wish to use, and four teams are guaranteed to be worth EP, so choose wisely. The second challenge alternates its win conditions every other week. On weeks 1, 3, and 5, you'll have to correctly guess which team will score the highest skill points during the weekly final. The correct answer will award you a whopping 200,000 EP. On weeks 2, 4, and 6, you'll have to guess who will take home a chicken dinner during the 10 weekly final matches, with each correct answer earning you 25,000 EP. You can only win once per team, but the good news is you don't even have to pick which game they'll win, making this challenge even easier. This challenge also requires voting coupons, so make sure you plan out where you want to spend yours before making a selection. Voting coupons can be obtained by purchasing PGIS gear, or through one of the free methods we'll talk about later. 30% of the revenue from PGIS item sales is given back to participating teams, so pick up some cool PGIS gear and show your team spirit. The final challenge requires you to pick the winner of the 32-team event match that takes place from March 5th through the 7th. This is a free event and requires no voting coupons, but can still net you a sweet 50,000 EP for a correct guess. Looking for ways to grab a couple free voting coupons and some EP? The first one's easy. Simply log into the eSports tab and you'll pick up a free voting coupon once per week. Make sure you grab them though, there's no going back if you miss a week. Secondly, we'll be randomly showing codes during the PGIS broadcast. Codes for a free voting coupon will pop up during weekly survival broadcasts, and codes for EP will pop up during weekly final, rank decision, and survival tournament broadcasts. Fans who are quick enough can enter these codes in-game to earn free voting coupons and some free EP. You can only claim one free voting coupon per week through this code, and you can get up to 80,000 free EP during the entire PGIS event. These codes are first come, first serve, so be quick or try your luck again the next time a code appears. Once you've racked up a nice pool of EP, Make a trip to the eSports store and choose from all the sweet new PGIS gear available. You'll have until April 14th to spend your EP, so stop in early to plan out what you'd like and pick it up as soon as you earn that required EP. That about does it for this overview of the PGIS Pick'em Challenge. Now it's your turn. Log into the eSports tab, research your teams, plan your strategy, and get picking. PGIS is our biggest tournament yet, and we want you to win big alongside your favorite PUBG teams. PUBG, PGIS, and the Pick'em Challenge. Your time to win starts now.
Update 10.3 has just arrived, and we've got a few fun and convenient additions to round up the season, including a long-standing fan request regarding weapon sounds, and a new way to celebrate with your team. Let's dive in. First up, PUBG weapon sounds have been a controversial topic for some as we've worked to improve the sounds of certain weapons in the game. With the new weapon sound selection system, we're leaving that decision up to you. Certain weapons that have received sound updates can now have their sounds toggled between the updated and legacy effects. Next up, we've got new ways for you and your teammates to celebrate together with our new squad emotes. When you start up one of these emotes, up to three other teammates near you will join in for a coordinated display of style. There are some restrictions on when these can be used, so make sure you check out the patch notes for all the details. This patch also contains a number of quality of life improvements that include some lighting adjustments on Karakin, Haven bug fixes, a number of performance improvements for lower NPCs, and some visual improvements for G-Coin in the store. You can check out all the details on these and everything else in the patch notes as well. Season 10 is winding down, but there's still time to experience the streets of Haven before the season ends. So grab your squad, drop in, and take on the battlegrounds.